At four, hundreds of thousands of Mississippians are at risk of losing their SNAP benefits or food stamp. Uh, thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Byron Brown. And I'm Linnea Lewis. It comes as the Trump administration tightens the rules on work requirements. 12 News' Gerald Harris shows us what this means for Mississippians. Linnea and Byron, zero Mississippians will be impacted or nor will gain anything from this new rule put in place by the Department of Agriculture. That's because similar rules have already been on the books right here in Mississippi. As of October, 440,000 Mississippians receive food assistance. A little over 13,000 are able-bodied adults. The plan announced Wednesday will limit states from exempting work-eligible adults from having to maintain steady employment in order to receive benefits. Mississippi already does that so no one will lose coverage here. The fact of the matter is, Mississippi uh, adopted a policy back in 2016 where we would no longer request waivers um, to, the, to, that, uh, to those guidelines. And then in 2017, the legislature passed House Bill 1090, otherwise known as HOPE legislation, that dictated that uh, the state would no longer request uh, waivers. The Agriculture Department estimates the change would save roughly $5.5 billion over five years and cut benefits for roughly 688,000 SNAP recipients. That's down from its original estimate that 750,000 people would lose benefits. So far, those receiving assistance in Mississippi for now can breathe a sigh of relief. There's no change. Linnea. Thank you, Gerald. Governor Bryan speaking out on the issue, insisting the state's workforce falls right in line with the change. He says, quote, Mississippi has over 50,000 job openings and will spend millions on workforce programs to help achieve self-sufficiency for all able-bodied adults without dependents, end quote. For more on the rule change and to hear from the Department of Human Services, visit our website, wjtv.com. We are focused on you.